Bonjour, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for many years. And this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. So for today's video, we are going to talk about one of my favorite active, which is retinol and in general retinoids. And I've decided to make this video because I had plenty and plenty of questions actually uh, on my Instagram and also from time to time on my uh, YouTube comments, if I'm not mistaken. I might be confusing because I have so many messages now, which is basically, shall I stop using uh, retinol mainly, or it also could be actually tretinoin in the summer. So before I start, let's get comfy, grab your tea. I am drinking white tea with a little bit of soy milk. So as always, what I like to do is simply to explain you what how actives are working on the skin. I think it is very important because if you understand how something works, then you will also understand what to expect and what uh, stuff are happening. So for retinol, but this is also true for retinaldehyde that I do not really promote on my channel. I do prefer retinol. Why? Because we don't have any solid scientific evidence that retinol, also known as retinaldehyde on the skin, promotes collagen synthesis, even though it is most likely the case, but I don't have the proof, the absolute proof. So this is why I promote retinol. When you are going to use those ingredients, you will have a tolerance period between, it depends, a month to eight weeks. This is something that is very, very individual. So for example, on my partner, if I put him on 1% retinol, he will have some harsh symptoms in the beginning with a lot of skin sensitivity. So when he's going to apply, for example, a moisturizer, he's going to burn his skin for three minutes, something like that. Sometimes it could be even red, but then it will it will pass maybe after two minutes and he will have like to grease his face like crazy. And it looks like his skin is completely destroyed. And all of a sudden after three weeks, beam, his skin like is in perfect, not super smooth, very lovely. On myself, it needs longer. It needs almost six weeks. And even after the six weeks, I still have some uh, inflammation and I need to be uh, very, very careful because my skin is always on the edge with 1% retinol, which is also why my routine, I use a lower uh, concentration. Other people can even not experience any really sensitization. They will see what we call retinization. So no major irritation or anything. They will see that the skin start to be smoother. Sometimes you see also that you have less uh, blackheads, less whiteheads. You can also purge from time to time, but you don't have um, many irritation. And others can even take longer than four weeks and go until uh, two months, and then they will be perfectly fine. When your skin finally tolerate the retinol, the retinaldehyde, and also the tretinoid, it just means that the skin barrier, so the very, very top surface of your skin, the dead skin cells barrier, what we call the stratum corneal, is finally back to healthy, to an healthy state. And this is why you no longer experiment, experience all those uh, irritation on your skin. So that doesn't mean that your retinol or your tretinoin has stopped working. It just means that your skin finally tolerate it. And usually this is the time when you can start to reintroduce, for example, an AHA, like a mandelic acid, it could also be uh, a lactic acid, for example, it also could be a glycolic acid. Be very careful, go uh, very slow at that moment to not unbalance your skin. But in terms of cell proliferation, it still works. In terms of collagen deposit, it also still works. You need to understand that retinol and retinoin are there also to keep just your skin in young mode. So in the beginning, it will help also to correct some um, sign of aging. And after a very long period of time, like uh, a solid six months to almost a year, it can also reduce some of the deeper wrinkles. You will never have a crazy result from it, of course. But if you are, for example, in your 30s like I am, it is an excellent active to really help to keep your skin in your mode and you will simply age in a slower pace, which is what we want. So if you do tolerate your retinol, you are perfectly fine with it. You can definitely uh, keep on breathing in the summer. However, if you go a lot uh, on the, at the beach, for example, and your skin is very irritating, in that time, you may consider to reduce the frequency of retinol. 
or it could also it could also be of course of tretinoin but if you really tolerate it well what that would do is actually to stop the other actives if you go to the beach quite often because this is very drying but i will still keep on with my retinol and uh, tretinoin and i will simply decrease the frequency so instead of using every single day or every other day just use it twice a week for example and once you are back from vacation you are basically back home you can um Again, use it every single uh, day, but this is always a bad idea to stop it because then again, you will have uh, to go back to with the tolerance period, with, which is something that you don't really want. So I hope this video helped to answer some of your concern about the use of retinol and tretinoin, especially during the summer. Again, I thank you so, so much for watching me. Tell me if you want me to do more video about uh, retinol because I can always talk about retinol. It is like with sunscreen, I have always something to say about them. Of course, if you did like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel. It is free. And like this, you will not miss any of my videos, especially if you win the little bell. You can also go and follow my Instagram account. I am Cyril Laurent ton of stuff over there so definitely check it out thank you so so much for being here and i will see you next time au revoir bye bye